Okay, then uh, yet another. Let's see. Is it the correct microphone on? What the hell? I have no idea. Let's let's have a look. Ah, screw it. I think you can hear me fine. So, uh, back on red lights. And actually, I had a look in the terms of service or whatever, uh, how you are allowed to use the Reddit name. It's okay to use name like Reader for Reddit, but apparently Reddit Light would not be okay because it implies that it's a software made by Reddit. Hmm. There we go. Uh, so I think we need to change the name at some point before they pub before publishing it. Oh, and I do apologize. My English is again slowly migrating back to Finglish uh, because now I don't need to speak it daily to anyone. So my pronunciation is coming back to Finnish style pronunciation. Oh, what's that? Right. I installed Google Chrome Portable so you don't need to see my disgusting links while I'm typing something here. Yep. Uh, anyway, this time, oh, I have a nice halo here. Sorry about that. I still haven't installed lights. I actually have a huge LED thing here. Actually, I have two of them. <laughs> to shine on my face and you know uh, give proper lighting to that room but I haven't yet installed these two anywhere so we need to live with that only what we got at the moment but anyway back to Reddit lights um, let's do the list now and what do we actually want to see on the list let's take my awesome um, prototyping software here which is ta -ta -da -da, paint so what we actually want a list of items like so beautiful absolutely beautiful they are like exactly the same size and so on. But yeah, whatever. Uh, I'm using the. Let's see if I already have it here. Uh, I'm using. Um, where's my Android app? I'm using Reddit, it's fun, personally. It's pretty neat. And it shows all kind of information here. Let's see. Uh, let's see if I can show it. But yeah, it shows you uh, the title. Uh, it will show the preview. It will show the base URL where the preview image is. For, it, for example, imageur.com. Then it will show the current score of the post. Uh, upward and downward, uh, how many comments and to which subreddit it's, it was posted to. And if I click it, click one post here, it will also it will expand and it will show uh, when it was posted, by whom, and then add links like share, save, hide, comments, and the comments will do the obvious and got the post and then dot 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 which is like more options which gives views sub subreddit view the poster's profile open link in browser comments in browser but that's a bit too much at the moment I only want to have preview pick and then title Man, my machine is really slow now. 
I have no idea what's going on here. Huh. Yep. Like so. And how do I go back? <laughs> and yeah, that would be the image here. And or maybe we'll uh, do it the other way around, just like in uh, Reddit is fun, that we'll put the image here and the title here, like so. Let's see, select. And like so. And my plan is that when you click on the image, it will show the link. And when you click on the title, it will show the comments. And that's it. And no other extra info here. Everything will be in the comments or when you open the post. We might add options to add more stuff later, but not yet. So it would look something a bit like this. And how does this work in Android? Um, first of all, we need to have a list where to put the items. Then we need to have uh, the stuff we want to show, the actual data. And then we need to have something describing how to show one item in the list. And the system works like so. You have first list view, which is the actual list. Uh, then you have list of items, the actual data. And then you will have an adapter, which will take the data. And when the list asks that I want to show item number one or five or 20, uh, it will ask, show, give me this item. And it will actually provide a cache if you already have it or you have already created it, it will offer it to you. Like, I already have this view, is, is it still current? And if it is, you can actually just return it. Like, yep, that's fine, show it. But of course, on the first view of the current data, you need to create a new view, view object, and populate it with the data, and then give it back to the list list view which will then show one of these and it will do the same thing for each thing and the communication goes so that we first will ask reddit okay give us the list of the uh, current items for example in the front page we will uh, take that data and put it in some kind of structure uh, our own data structure then we will need to download the preview images and I'm not sure if we should just rely on this uh, image component to show uh, and cache the image because that would work and that would be really easy we would just tell it that yeah get the image from that URL and scale it that's it or if we want to be nicer we would create an image cache so that we would download all the images maybe immediately put them somewhere in our memory card or internal storage and have a hash or something uh, well you can map the URL to the image and then just okay we have this image for this URL so just show it if we don't have download it put it in so we already have kind of a lot of stuff to do but we need to start somewhere so let's start with the list and sure if I should even it's very boring to watch me code so I will just cut this here and whenever I have managed to do something useful I will again start taping and explain what I was doing okay Good. Well, actually, I'll uh, explain now what happens when you create an Android project with the current uh, setup wizard and select a master detail flow. 
uh, it will create a couple of these uh, XML fly files, these uh, um, layouts, and then it will decide which kind of uh, view we will show depending on the screen size. By default, let's see the we should have is it styles. No, it should be like refs or something. Nope, this is not it. Let's see values. Large. Huh, we don't have refs there. Oh, I guess it will, uh, if it's not tied to anything, it will just use activity post list. Post to pane. Um. Ah, yeah, there we go. So by default, it will just use this as uh, the whole view. And this is just uh, fragments, which it's implemented in post list fragments. There we go. And let's see. Yeah, this is just a list, basically. But tools layer post list content. That should be the list, I think. And layout post to pane. In case. Uh, we are on a tablet, it will load this XML instead, which is like two pane view. Let's, yeah, this will show it. So on left side, uh, we will have the uh, list of the items, and in this space, it will load whatever item you select. And on standard or standard, a smaller screen like a phone. You will only get this. Uh, well, it doesn't even show it here for some reason. But you would get just a list, and then when you select, it will start a new activity and discard the old one. Well, not discard; it will stay in the stack. But uh, and you will get the content in there, and that would be post detail. And it doesn't actually have anything in it yet. Why not? Fragment. Ah, right, right. This is the activity. So, in sorry if I'm being confusing, but uh, this is what's loaded when you're on a phone or other small screen. And then within this container, this frame layout, this is just something to give you the ability to find where to put something. In that, you will load this post detail and it will actually only have one text view at the moment but we're gonna fix that later but yeah let's go on to the list okay uh, first we need to get the data that we want to show and there's a lot of stuff in one post item uh, this is JSON, JSON, format, format.com, uh, and this is a convenient way to just make this look a bit nicer. So basically, each one of these children data items is one post in a listing. And yeah, there's author. Uh, when it was created, uh, domain or domain where the link resides, how many downvotes, how many upvotes, the score, URL, permalink to the discussion, thumbnail, image, URL, title. And at the moment, I'm only interested in the thumbnail, title, and if it's a self-post or not. 
So, uh, how do we find out if it's a self posts? Let's find one here. No, it's image your. Nope. 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 Ah, there we go. This might be one. Because it's domain is reddit.com permalink best of comments yeah best of is uh, text only subreddit so self tech no that's not it title URL kind oh right I think that kind I think we already discussed about this, so that kind actually tells what kind of post it is. So let's find in red it's API. Ah, there we go. Type prefixes. No. Hmm. Listings. Let's have a look at what. Um, so what's new? These are the parameters that I'm in, interested in. Let's find. I'm pretty sure it was that kind. Nope. Well, let's just have a look what it contains. Kind T3 seems to be a self post. No, kind T3 is apparently any kind of post. Okay, it's that's not it. But yeah, these are the kind of things I do to figure out what to do. So now I'm just going to figure out how to see which kind of post it is and I'll uh, pass the imported data for ourselves. In the future we might uh, pass all of this but for now we are only interested in a couple of things. And what we have here is a very simple parser to pass one listing like the hot list or whatever basically well actually let's make and danger and so let's throw okay Basically that's as easy as creating an instance of this object, Reddit listing, and give it, giving it the whole data that you get from loading the uh, Reddit listing. It will then chop it, or it will extract the children array from there, and then it will just create one Reddit listing item, uh, one, well, listing item and this will also pass its uh, its own data I haven't yet tested this though so I might need to do some modifications but yep that's it and we are only interested in title target URL comments URL the preview or preview or that's the thumbnail and if it's a self post Now we have a uh, <coughs> system to also download the list as a JSON string and then passing it to the results. I'll show you how. So we now have a 
host list activity. Um, which has its own async task, which has a task return type, which contains either the results or an exception and an error message of what went wrong. And I was absolutely dumbfounded that, that <laughs> this actually worked on the first try. I managed to do the parsing correctly on the first try. But let's walk through this in the debugger. I have a breakpoint here and I'll just I'll actually so that we don't forget to check that we actually what we actually got. Uh, well. Hmm. well just so that we actually get the listing somewhere here, I'll just do a system out print line line this thing to string this is just so that we actually got the so it wouldn't won't optimize out that type there so we will see what that contains after we have done after we done with this so yes save and it's supposed to be starting now And it's signing into Reddit, and because I have I've set it to remember me, it automatically already signed me in. And okay, we are in the async task here. I'll try to make a bit of room here so we will actually see what's happening. There we go. So first we will create the HTTP clients and. Post list task return. Okay, we will create the empty thing. Then we will get the data from Reddit, and now it's in here. Current listing data, mod has children, blah blah blah, all the stuff we would expect. And then we will need to step into this. Okay, and this is our. Uh, the thing I showed earlier, the Reddit listing, which contains these Reddit listing items. And this is the constructor, which will automatically create the whole thing. And we will pause. Amazingly, this worked on the first try. And we now have a JSON array, which contains uh, a list of the items values there's apparently 25 of them so for one item we will create a new listing item which will pass itself from this item string let's go into it we need to skip those constructors and there we go so now we are in reddit listing item and we here we have the data of one item as a string and we will go into here and we will again create a JSON object we could have actually passed on just a JSON object uh, through here but I want to play with strings maybe we'll reuse this uh, class somewhere else and we don't have objects at that point but we'll see okay and basically we'll just get the stuff for this item and here we see it's there's the URL excuse me uh, that's the comments and preview hmm that's interesting that's empty so there's no thumbnail I guess it's not the self post. Oh, okay, it's a Wikipedia article, so I don't think it generates any kind of thumbnails. We might actually have a look in the most used domains like Wikipedia and so on and create our own 
neat little thumbnails for those. And here's the title. GIL a German citizen was mistakenly abducted by the Macedonian police and handed over to the CIA, who then... Oh, <laughs> man, these titles. Ridiculous. Make a self post if you're going to post that. What's that word? Like a small book. Man, my English is so bad. Oh well, anyway. Now this is passed and we have all the data here. And so we're back in the loop. Uh, because it was 25 of them, let's just step out in Eclipse, that's F7. Oh yeah. If you're coding in Eclipse, this should be in your brain, like embedded in your mind. F6, step over, F5, step into, F7, step out, F8, continue. And then I'm really pissed off when I change to Visual Studio or something else and it's all in wrong places. I used to actually code in Visual Studio a lot and so I think there the keys are F9, 10, 11 for the most debugging tasks. Anyway, oh, and if I to launch an application, oh lord, what they, what were they thinking? Using F5 for refresh everywhere, not for launching. Anyway, <coughs> so F7, step out. And we should now have our results. Good, no exceptions, and we will return this and we are now actually in different threat than the UI threat. The UI is still supposedly uh, responsive while doing this and now we will jump into this on post execute and this will happen in the UI thread. And well I don't have breakpoint there but just trust me <laughs> it, it will execute in UI thread and then we will give if it was successful, like if we have the results, just give it to the activity. Uh, in other case, just tell it uh, that it failed. So here we go, F8 continue. And we got success. So we now have listing, which is items, which is uh, a list of items. And oh right, sorry. Uh, I'm on a limited screen here. So each one of these is one item. So that's a today I learned link, a pix link, funny link, or or link, and so on. Great, now we have our data. Next we need to create a adapter. So, okay, I got it somehow working. Uh, the list that is, looks like this now. So maybe I should drag that a bit larger for a while. So, uh, it kind of looks like shit. <laughs> uh, what happens here is that every time we have multi-line text it will just push the thumbnail image out of the screen but we're gonna tackle that later so let's have a look oh yeah I'll show you the whole, uh, whole process so I'll click debug Attack, 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 attach, attach <laughs> to the uh, debugger, and let's see. Oh, there we have already. So it automatically logs in with my UI, and that's the front page of Reddit hot, basically. So let's have a look what we did. I'll just. Make my stupid face a bit smaller here. 
we go. Okay, so we created a list item uh, post, which is a simple layout to contain a title, then a sizer, which will take like that empty space there, and a thumbnail image, that's a image button, which can be used later for uh, launching an activity or selecting the host if it's a large display but right now I'm only developing for this and we will concern ourselves with the tablets a bit later <coughs> so that's the list item oh hello there's some warnings here so that's that that's how it's going to be drawn and then what actually draws it we made a list adapter so it extends array adapter and when we are creating it we will create one item list which will be passed to the um, array adapter uh, even though we have this set listing where we use the raw listing we will be updating this item, clearing and adding stuff to that, so that we have minimum amount of overrides we need to do. Because if we would uh, use another object instance than the one we gave to the super object, or the parent object here, then we would also need to take care of so that the a framework always knows how many items there are we would need to override the gets count or something like that it's like how many items there are maximum and other such things so I'm using this uh, item list just so that we will have a bit less of a hassle of dealing with the item uh, well this whole adapter really uh, we probably will make a bit more complicated adapter in the future but this is fine f for now and this is really simple we will just on constructor we will just call the super the array adapter and store these references and when we this get view will be called by the list view when it wants to show an item and if it already has one uh, it will uh, offer us this convert view but if it already exists we will just return that but if it doesn't exist we will use a layout inflator oh actually we're going to make a little change here so if it's already inflated or the object already exists we are not going to we don't want to inflate it again so we are only doing it when there is no view but of course the order of the things and the content of the things might change so this is actually wrong we shouldn't be doing this here because this content changes so actually we need to move this to here so that if an item's content changes it will actually change the view to reflect what we have in the item array in the data here okay and this is a convenience function which we can call from uh, the activity to update the uh, <laughs> to update the view and this notify data set changed this will uh, cause this adapter to tell the view that we have changed so we should redraw the whole view which will call again this get view for each item again okay I think that's it now what are the little other things we need to change or we had to change okay post list activity this is a fragment wait a minute post list 
no post list fragments this is a list fragment which means it's a view fragment which contains one list it's kind of like a list activity of all times before fragments and I'm not even sure why to bother using these because you can just drop list views into any player nowadays but yeah we're gonna be using this because this is basically what the wizard made for us there's all kinds of useless garbage here we which we do not need later like this this uh, activated position well we have to do something similar but this won't work for us because this is just using static static data so uh, and creates when we are creating the fragment we'll create a new adapter this is the post list adapter which I just showed and set an empty list to it and just set the adapter that's pretty much everything I changed in this this is all uh, auto created code I'm not going to go into detail on that and then in the post list activity I changed this a bit we are going to store a reference to this post list fragment for the whole lifetime of this activity I like to put this in the end of the class these uh, local variables I'm not even sure why I think I learned it from a colleague years ago and it has just stuck with me anyway so we will store that and when we get data from the network the post ah, here is refresh success we will get a reddit listing very simple again this comes from the async task we created earlier today and this will just get the adapter from the list which we stored in the creation and because it's pretty much guaranteed to be a post list adapter we will just convert that to there so we can call set listing which is this where we set reset the items set the new items and tell the framework that please redraw yourself that's pretty much it time is hmm, too late I think I'm done for the day we'll continue later and in the next episode we will probably make some some kind of simple thing to show posts and yeah I think that's actually enough for the next time we'll say then bye bye